being addicted to fishing is a mind state that an angler gets when they hit that point of interest that it's all they can think about. It's just a passion for fish, for, for the outdoors, for being a part of something, you know, bigger than just, you know, fishing itself. There got to be a point where all I could think about and all I could dream about all day long was being on the river and fishing. I, I fish 200 plus days a year, you know, guiding and, and I still go out and go fishing on my days off. When I was creating this brand and trying to figure out what am I gonna call it and how am I gonna do this, you know, I chose the name Addicted because it was like where I came from and all these addictions that were around me and I chose this healthy addiction, this thing that is, is really healthy and fun and exciting for you and it, it doesn't kill you like a drug addiction does. You know, I grew up in a pretty rough scenario, in and out of foster care pretty much my whole life for as, as long back as I can remember. I lost my, my father to heroin addiction. I lost my mother to heroin addiction. I lost my brother to heroin addiction. And it's one of those things where I think the foster care system, it saved me. Because if I didn't go into foster care, I was going right down that exact same road of addiction. And fishing really is what kind of filled that void for me. And so I never got into drugs or alcohol, even in high school, you know, I just never got into any of that stuff because I always wanted to go fish. Coming from where I came from in foster care and, and just all the things I went through in my life, I never had like that mentored, so I always, fiended for this information of trying to learn how to fish. And as I got older and searched the internet and, and kept learning on my own, I was like, you know what, I wanna do this. I wanna be able to teach and inspire kids like me that, that grew up in same scenarios and weren't able to have access to fishing. And so that was how Addicted Fishing was born. game is hover fishing. Yeah, I'd say there's some salmon in there. Oh my God, they're all up here. We gotta fish this. Oh yeah, it's a coma, dude. Utilizing the Mega Live, put that fish in our boat. Cameron probably wouldn't have made that cast had he not seen them on there. This is gonna revolutionize salmon fishing. Got him, fish, fish on, right there. I met Marlin and the Fishing Addicts crew probably eight years ago. I always joke and say, I think the initial bonding between Marlon and I was he wanted to go see a new river so him and his buddies could go back and fish it. And so I'm like, who else could be that crazy to be out there at 2 a.m. to try to get a spot for fishing? And sure enough, it was those guys. Marlon had reached out to me and uh, asked me if I wanted to go do a live feed with him. That was back in Cameron's garage and we went and did a live feed, I believe, on the Lambert River Spring Chinook. That was kind of my first intro to hanging out with the guys. That's good deeper fish. They're swimming between the boat on our left side. Giant. <laughs> cool looking fish, dude. Being part of the addicted fishing crew means I get to have fun fishing still. I got fun with good people, good friends, good camaraderie. But we also get to do a lot of really cool things and share cool experiences and engage the people that like to follow us um, to be more involved in the salmon and steelhead fisheries. It's kind of the icing on the cake to a good career um, of being a guide in the Northwest. If you love fishing as much as we do, you can't be on drugs. You can't be on alcohol because you will miss it so bad when you're on those other things. So I, I would say if there was one piece of advice I could give people out there, it's pick up a healthy addiction and it will help you curb whatever unhealthy ones you may have. Our ultimate goal with Addicted is to build this community of anglers 
to where we actually have a voice, where we can actually affect our fisheries in a good way. So future generations and all these people that we're trying to inspire actually have something to fish for. Having the platform to teach people and get people involved in the outdoors and the sport that means so much to me, I think that's my driving force in all of this. What is important in support of fisheries and the sport of salmon and steelhead angling is just sheer love and not getting in the mentality of just taking. Because this is their home, it's not ours. We, they were here long before us and all we come to do is interact and have fun and enjoy that, that small moment that we get with the fish and with the outdoors. What a neat little creature. The biggest installation of effort that should be put towards these fisheries is just caring and giving back to the resource, whether it be voting, whether it be legislating in, in senates and pushing for rights for fishermen and for the fish. We've had the, the rare opportunity as addicted in the team that we have to instill that effort and that mentality to other people. The more people that we have involved in those type of groups, the more pull we have when it comes time to stand up and fight. Respect the resource, take care of these fish, and we'll have this fun, awesome thing for generations to come.